Welcome to AI Breakdown, the podcast where we dive deep into the world of artificial intelligence and break down the latest research papers for you. I'm your host, Megan. And I'm Ray, your co-host. On today's episode, we'll be discussing a paper called Adding Conditional Control to Text-to-Image Diffusion Models by Loveman Zhang, Anyu Rao, and Manish Agrawala. Text-to-image diffusion models have allowed us to generate visually stunning images based on text prompts, but they have limitations when it comes to providing control over the spatial composition of these images. That's right. To address this limitation, the authors propose ControlNet, a neural network architecture that adds spatial conditioning controls to these text-to-image diffusion models. ControlNet allows users to provide additional images that directly specify their desired image composition, such as edge maps, human pose skeletons, segmentation maps, depth, and normals. And the key idea behind ControlNet is to lock the pre-trained model and reuse its encoding layers while adding a trainable copy that takes conditioning images as input. They use zero convolutions to gradually grow the parameters from zero, avoiding harmful noise during fine-tuning. So let's break this down a bit. Pre-trained models are models that have been trained on a large data set and have learned representations of the data. In this case, the pre-trained model is a text-to-image diffusion model that can generate images from text prompts. That's correct. And by locking the pre-trained model and reusing its encoding layers, ControlNet can benefit from the learned representations while adding the ability to incorporate conditioning controls for spatial composition. And what they mean by zero convolutions is that initially the parameters connecting the locked model and the trainable copy are set to zero. Then, during fine-tuning, these parameters gradually grow allowing the pre-trained model to guide the trainable copy in controlling the image generation process. Exactly. Now the authors experiment with various conditioning controls using stable diffusion, which is a large-scale implementation of latent diffusion. They test controls like edges, depth, segmentation, and human pose, both individually and in combination. And the results show that ControlNet is robust and can be trained with small data sets of fewer than 50k samples and large data sets of over 1 million samples. It also supports the composition of multiple conditions. Right, and this demonstrates the potential for ControlNet to expand the applications of image diffusion models and provide users with more control over the spatial composition of the generated images. The paper's main contributions include the ControlNet architecture itself, which adds spatial conditioning controls to text-to-image diffusion models. They also introduce the concept of zero convolutions to gradually grow the parameters during fine-tuning, protecting the pre-trained model from harmful noise. And they experimentally demonstrate the robustness of ControlNet in controlling image diffusion models with different conditioning controls. They also show the scalability of ControlNet across datasets of different sizes and conduct ablative studies to analyze the contribution of each component of the architecture. It's fascinating to see how ControlNet addresses the limitations of text-to-image diffusion models and allows for more fine-grained control over image composition. I can imagine this being valuable in various applications, from artistic creativity to virtual environment design. Absolutely. Well, that wraps up our breakdown of the paper, adding conditional control to text-to-image diffusion models. We hope you found this episode informative and insightful. If you'd like to read the full paper, you can find it in the conference proceedings of ICCV 2023. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to discuss in future episodes, feel free to reach out to us on social media. Thanks for tuning in to AI Breakdown. I'm Megan. And I'm Ray. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of AI.